Genesis 1 and 27, it says this, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created not dog, not cat, not, not squirrel, uh, uh, not unicorn. You can't be what you want to be. Now, you, you, you can be something, but just don't say God made you that way. You can do what you want to do, but, but understand this, that get, get this, anything outside of God's creation, hear this, it's perversion. Y'all real tense. Y'all, the, the world on you, don't it? The world on you, on your mind, you're scared. Can't ride with your boy. Get this. And God made male and female. That's what he did. He created them. Watch this. Pay attention. In this passage of scripture, write, that, write this down. There is complete unity between man and woman. There is no again. There is no contention. There is no competition. Understand this. In this text. Male and female are one. They're together. They know their purpose. They know their function. Hear this. Adam, the male, is not, watch this, he has not yet attempted in his flesh because he doesn't pay attention. He's not yet led by the flesh. In his nature, he only sees her how God sees her. He only sees her as a privilege and an honor. He sees her as, as an equal. He's missing something now. He, he, because he has just fallen asleep, he's woken up, and when he, when, he, when, he, when he came to, there was something missing from him. It's equivalent to someone needing a transplant, and, and, and you say, I'll donate a kidney. Well, you don't donate something that you gave and then mistreat the person you gave it to. That, 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 that if Pastor Ty, hear this, if Pastor Ty was my same blood type, you know your blood type, Pastor Ty, I'm, I'm B positive. You know yours? So, uh, so he's B positive. Look at we brothers in the spirit and the Holy Ghost. Watch this. So we can't get this. Be positive blood types. It's not, uh, uh, it's not recommended that we eat chicken. I'm pretty sure we have um, disobeyed that. But, but watch this. Get this. Uh, if he's be positive, that means if something happened to me, if I got into a tragic accident of some sort and I needed a blood transfusion and Ty was present and they said if he, if, if Gabriel Powell doesn't get a blood transfusion now uh, that he may die, Pastor Ty may jump in and say, well, I'm be positive as well. He can take some of my blood. Well, watch this. After I come to, after I realize that my life has been spared, uh, Pastor Ty wouldn't find a gun and shoot me. Mm, uh, why? Because he gave up of himself. He he gave something uh, of himself uh, that causes him to look at me uh, with value and honor. Well, uh, Adam comes to uh, and he realizes uh, that something from him is missing. Uh, and so get this, uh, when he looks at her, when he looks at woman, when he looks at Eve, if you will, he doesn't look at her as a piece of property. He doesn't look at her uh, as something to control. Uh, he looks at her as equal because uh, I can't gave you uh, I gave you a transfusion I donated a part of myself so I must honor you I feel like preaching. so he still get this in the image of God so he sees Eve that way but then we jump over to Genesis 3 Genesis 3 we jump down to verse 14. Brothers and sisters, shouts out to Ms. Mary Ellis. Email me. Genesis 3 and 14. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock. 
You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. Verse 15 says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman. He's still talking to Satan. And between your offspring and hers, and he will crush your head. And you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing bearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give your birth, you will give birth to children. Your desire, here it is, you ain't going to like this. Your desire will be for your husband. And he will rule over you. Look at your manifesting now, shaking, got to use the bathroom, running out. Look at your neighbor and say, up and out, up and out, up and out. Get this. To Adam, he said, watch this, men of God, because you listen to your wife. I could preach through there. Because you listen to her. I didn't put her in charge. She ain't the leader. You're the protector. You should have interrupted the conversation. And that's not the problem. The problem is they, they were enticed by a lesser being. Are you used to the voice of God and you are manipulated into sin by someone's voice that's less than the voice that created you? So no, 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 you're not. You didn't have the uh, initial sin. But I hold you responsible. Because you listened to your wife and ate from Ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from. Cursed is the ground because of you. Watch this. Watch this, man of God. The woman has pain in childbirth. But we have pain, a painful toil from the food we eat, from the food we eat from the ground. Meaning this, we're going to always have to work. No, 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 I ain't talking about working on no job. I'm talking about we're going to always have to work. And at the measure of our work is the measure of our value. That's the curse. What's this? By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to the dust you will. So I have to apologize, Dr. Brandon, because theologically I have taught that this curse can be reversed because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. I have to apologize. I've given you bad theology. It's wrong theology. Every preacher does it. Every preacher will, every preacher will look at a text and misinterpret it. Preach it. You will shout. And then as he, he or she grows, they'll have to come back and say, I preached that wrong. Well, I preach this wrong. You cannot. There's nothing that can reverse this. Here's why. Watch this, because I'm a, I'm a logician. That's why I could never be a primary prophet, because I'm too logical. God gave me the gift of common sense. Watch this. I thought, Pastor V, that you could, because of the final work of, of, of Christ on the cross, that you're no longer subject to this. But if that's the case, that means that snakes after Christ would go back to standing. And, and that means that also if you are in new covenant, Get this, your childbearing would be painless. And that also means that, men of God, if we are a new covenant, we would no longer have to work. No, it's not true. Watch this. Here, 
is the entrance of sin. And here now, pay attention, is where contention comes. Contention between the only human beings on the planet. Here is where we are now. Watch this text says, you will always desire your husband. Look, his never say, hold that there. 66% of Americans have had a one night stand. Forty-eight percent of men, thirty-six percent of women, sixty-six percent of Americans have had a one-night stand. These United States of America is number thirteen in the highest divorce rate in the world. Watch this. That means or suggests that most of humanity has a problem with being with someone permanently. You don't believe that? Well, that's the question, that's the conversation that most men have when we're considering marriage. As we get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the date, no man in this room has a tuxedo saved in his Pinterest account. Not one man in here, not one man is going, hear this, window shopping for tuxedos. Not one. Watch this. Most men, as we get closer and closer to the date, we are startled. We are confused. Flabbergasted. At the thought. You mean to tell me this about to be not one woman in this room, your, not one woman, your JJ ain't good enough to make a man say, I ain't scared that this is the only Y'all real quiet. And don't bother asking him if I'm right tonight. He's going to lie. Because he wants to continue getting the JJ from you. What you thought about what Pastor said? Psh, what part? <laughs> what part? I didn't even remember that part. He said I was. <laughs> what part? Don't come to encounter. If you're trying to get a new car, new house every week, I'm not the pastor for you. Watch this. So, so if the numbers don't lie, and America has a, hear this, and most of America in their lifetime can say, I've had a one night stand. Watch this. No, no wonder why a, a covenant is a problem. Because, hear this, uh, sex becomes spiritual. It becomes spiritual. It becomes spiritual. But it is a physical act that manifests into uh, a spiritual component. Uh, but watch this. Covenant is all spiritual. God, I feel you. 
And so why we, watch this men of God, the reason why uh, we have a hard time uh, with the covenant uh, is because uh, we have not yet mastered. We have not yet invited. Look at your neighbor. Remember 48%, 36% of women, 48% of men, 36% of women. That means uh, that we have a hard time. Uh, we have a hard time understanding the importance uh, of covenant as it relates to God. Uh, that covenant uh, is not a rule, uh, but covenant uh, is a promise. Uh, and it's a promise, uh, get this, uh, it's a promise uh, that has prosperity attached to it. Uh, covenant does not keep you in bondage, uh, but covenant uh, puts you in the promised land. Uh, I feel like preaching good, uh, but I can't. Uh, but just give me 60 seconds of your ear. Uh, if I understand covenant, uh, I understand the promised land. Uh, everybody wants a promised land. Uh, everybody wants a new house. Uh, everybody wants money. Uh, everybody wants a car. Uh, but do you understand that when I can master covenant, uh, hear this, when I find a friend uh, that's in real covenant with me, uh, when I find a lover that's in real covenant with me, uh, when I find a church uh, that's in real covenant with me, uh, ain't no devil in hell can come and steal what God uh, has given us. Uh, covenant uh, is the land of milk and honey. Uh, I want a relationship where I ain't got to worry about nobody loving somebody else because they understand covenant. I want loyalty. I want honor. I want respect. But that is a promise. And the only way you can get to that prosperity is that you honor covenant. It's quiet in this Anglican church. The reason why you're miserable in your affections and your soul it's because you have a covenant, but it's illegal. It's the same paranoia of a crime committed, wondering if you'll ever get caught. You can't enjoy life because you're always looking over your... Yes, yeah, it's going to be tough today. Watch this. Watch this. So this is where we see the contention. Because of sin now, a woman has to get this, no matter if you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit or not, a woman is always going to have to contend with her affections concerning a man. Watch this. The scripture says that he will now, watch this, be your leader. This is too much. So because of sin, watch this, because of sin, we now look at each other, male and female, we are now at war with one another. Now, we are trying to get one another to bow to our philosophies. Have you ever stopped and gone through TikTok or Instagram and now all the podcasts or a lot of podcasts or it's... information about relationships because neighbor said be careful okay watch this let me work through this Genesis or 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 watch this write this down now because of sin we struggle with misogyny We struggle with, get this, misandry. Misogyny is the hate for or the disdain for a woman. Misandry is the hate or disdain for a man. Get this, pay attention to this. We now struggle, ladies, with hypergamy. 
What that means is that I, I now decide if a man is going to mess you up. Hypergamy is now deciding if a man is of value based upon his economical status. Or, plainly putting, hypergamy is when you want and have to have a man of high status. Hence, high-value man. That the concept of high-value man that we have indoctrinated society with has nothing to do with his values. It has all to do, watch this, how many women in the room, watch this, I'm going somewhere, how many in, women in the room you could not fathom dating a bus, a bus driver? You couldn't fathom, don't get quiet, you, you, you couldn't fathom dating a garbage man. You couldn't fathom dating a mechanic. Here's why, here it is, watch this. And if you can fathom it, you think you're real fancy by saying, oh, I'm okay with uh, if you want more out of life. Can he, if, can he at least own the bus company? Absolutely not. He's not going to own the bus company. Everybody ain't going to be no CEO. Everybody not going to own nothing. Hear me, some people may own a house. But Lower your voice, Gabriel. That's hypergamy. That means I, I, I hear this. I cannot, I do not see a man's value or worth based upon what's on the inside of him. He has to have, y'all quiet in here. He has to have a high status. This is why some of y'all come to the church. You don't want no other man in the church. You want the pastor. Because he has the highest status. <laughs> yeah, I want to wake you up. I want. I'm come, I come here to have church. Here, yeah, that, 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 hear me. Uh, and I got people. I got. I got people around me that you won't get full foot. Uh, you won't get four feet next to me. Uh, you might as well go ahead and get you somebody uh, on your level. Uh, hear this. Uh, that watch this. Uh, that you don't see uh, real men. You don't see work ethic. Uh, you don't see character. You don't see honesty. Honesty. What's that? Uh, what is integrity? What is love? What is patience? What is peace? Uh, what's love? What's kindness? Uh, I don't care about that. Uh, he needs to have power. Why? Because uh, you have been indoctrinated uh, with a perverted character, with a perverted value system that says uh, you can't enter into covenant uh, until uh, a man uh, get this uh, until a man not a man that obeys God uh, not a man that worships God uh, not a man that honors God uh, not a man that knows how to raise children uh, not a man that knows how to love uh, no uh, I can't enter into covenant uh, until uh, I have a man uh, that's in a high status uh, me and I'm talking to you uh, that you can't see a woman uh, past her value you can't see a woman uh, past her intellect uh, that you uh, pay attention uh, that her body uh, is uh, the thing that you uh, you crave body and you have to dominate and you have to control uh, and you have to rule uh, and when she has an opinion uh, you say shut up uh, and when you do have sex with her uh, you try to you try to imitate porn uh, you don't look at her like God's creation you are misogynistic Watch this. What? Where did you get? Where did you get? Where did you get? I cannot be in a relationship with someone unless I can control them. Where did you get? He ha pay attention. Let's ask ourselves intellectually. Why do I have to marry someone at the top? Let me help you understand something about the top. No one is faithful at the top. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You thought she was going to shout, but you oh, what? Well, tell me about that. Uh, no one gets to the very top uh, and be faithful. Uh, no, sir. Uh, it's got, hear this. Uh, you have to have a grace to marry a man at the top. Uh, here's why. Uh, because at the top, they can see everything. Uh, Pastor Dane in the Bible, uh, it was during the time uh, that kings went to war uh, that David stayed back. Uh, he wanted to rest a while. Uh, and he went on to his balcony uh, and he saw Bathsheba. Uh, he would not I have ever seen her from the bottom of his house. He had to go to the top. There is more than one you at the top. So hear this. Everything that everything that a man is tempted with, oh, everything that makes every secret, every pro, propensity, every proclivity, he's going to have to face at the top. And very few men and women at the top fight consistently and win. When they get there, it's hard at the top. You don't want no pastor. You don't want no president. You don't want no CEO. Show me a CEO. Show me a pastor. Show me someone at the top. Their entire staff are, is, are, are men. Yeah, y'all getting real quiet. You don't want the principal? Huh? Yeah, the top. Huh? Some of y'all are teachers and you like huh, your principal. Huh? Well, you ain't the only one. He's the principal. Oh yeah, he's the CEO. He's the president. He's the lead singer of the group. Tell him, Mike. Oh yeah, leave us alone until we're ready. Because when we the lead, when we the most visible, when we have the power, it takes us a long time to settle down. You can't have the top It's easy to have integrity when you're at the bottom. When a man is at the top, he has to fight for integrity. You don't want a CEO because a CEO, hear this, don't miss this. A CEO has to deal with everybody. And because conceptually, propensity, hear this, conceptually, we have to understand that women run the world. That no company, no industry, no church, no career can be made without women. And so if the man or the woman is at the top, pay attention to this. If they're at the top and they have to deal with women who run the companies run the stuff Uh, hear this Uh, it's hard to be faithful you don't have what it takes to remotely desire or think hypergamy That it's dangerous only saying, I can only be with someone who has a status it costs to be the boss. Yeah, real quiet in this room. I ain't apologizing. Don't come and text me, call me, ask me about nothing. I don't care who get mad. I don't care who. I'm helping you understand. That you have avoided a family, a man with character, a man, hear this, a man that can come home to you with complete focus, all because of your warped view on what men are. Your husband to be a great teacher and change the world. Your husband could be a pastor of 65 members. Your husband could be a construction worker that loves God and loves you. Your husband could be a bus driver. Yeah, 
last quiet. And so, watch this. Pastor, why are you saying that? Because that's why many women are single. Because you're waiting on six figures. It's not reality, y'all. It's not reality. Social media has us jacked up. Because a man that's at the top doesn't always come home and tuck the kids in bed. You know why? Because the top requires them a lot more than the family requires. And if you say, oh, I want him to come home, but if he comes home all the time, he may lose the top. And that's why you marry him. I married him because of the top, but then when I get in it, I want him to come home to the bottom. But if, I can't, if he's always here, he may lose the top. So do I leave after, which one do I do? Ooh, it's tough. Let's keep it going. Be seated. Y'all mad. Watch this. Watch this. Shout character. Pay attention to this. So we see where division has come. You should ask yourself, where did I learn my view of the opposite sex? Where did I learn my view? Who taught me Who taught me how, pay attention to it, I view women? Who taught me, not who taught me on how, no, no, no. Who taught me how I view women? Who taught me by way of demonstration? Who taught me by way of observation? Who taught me, who was I looking at? that made me come up or form ideologies concerning the opposite sex. For example, watch this. For example, all men are dogs. All men are dogs. How many people you've ever heard all men are dogs? No? Wow. Okay. Here's one. All women are emotional. Okay. Well, that's not true because all of us are emotional. No, 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 no. Okay. You didn't, no. Men didn't like that one, but it's true. We just, dis, we just display our emotion differently. Okay. Watch this. If we shut down and we, not, we, we're, we, we, don't, we don't communicate, here it is. There's something that happened in the relationship, et cetera, and uh, uh, we, don't, we didn't get our way or something like that. If we shut down and we don't want to communicate, we're being emotional. We're not being logical at the time. We're being emotional. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Uh, uh, have you ever heard that all men are dumb? Or women are smarter than men. Okay? Now, everybody in the room would say, yeah, that's true. That's not true. Women mature faster. Two years earlier in, uh, during uh, puberty, two, uh, uh, women uh, mature mentally just two years further than men during that uh, uh, puberty stage. Outside of that, there's no scientific proof that IQ from a, uh, compared to, uh, to a woman compared to a man is smarter. No, you're just, you just mature quicker than us during like the teenage years. Maturity and IQ are two different things. 
there's no study that ever has remotely suggested that the woman you're sitting next to is smarter than you. Watch this. Let me go further. I don't mean to get on this rant, but I have to say this. What would make, think this, think about this. Woman of God, just want to talk to you about this. What would make us call our black men dumb? What, what would make the species, the highest species that has a target on their back? See, black woman, you will never go, hear this, when you leave your house, you anticipate coming home. You have never felt the same dangers or pressures than a black man. A woman, had, hear this, you know why? Because from Old Testament to New Testament, hear this, uh, anytime you wanted to pay attention, because you think that America is the, is the beginning of it, absolutely not. From Old Testament to New Testament, the concept of dominating a country or a culture or a group of people is to kill the man, spare the women and children. So hear me, don't, don't miss this. Society has never wanted to kill a black woman. They need you to slave. They just want to kill us uh, so they can keep you on the... Watch this. Furthermore, shout furthermore. You learn calling your own man, hear this, the strongest man on the planet. The man that, that when God made him, uh, he put a little extra in all of us. Uh, you learn calling him dumb and stupid and that he don't know nothing. You learn that from white women because when we were serving and slaving in their homes, uh, that's what they would refer to their men. And so you came back home uh, and you start saying the same thing about your king uh, as white women said uh, when we were serving them. Uh, we nursed their kids. Uh, we breastfed they, they got here man do you know it's a generation of white folk that got black uh, black cells and black minerals in them uh, because when they couldn't breastfeed you did uh, and you had the audacity to forget how God made us uh, and you brought back concepts from that house that generation and you start walking around calling your man dumb and an idiot uh, look at your neighbor and say it's time to reverse the curse uh, my man is strong uh, my man is anointed uh, my man is brilliant he got a PhD. He got a hood degree. He's everything I want him to be. And that's why our men are in jail. I'm, I'm about sick of this vocational stuff anyway. Huh? That, that what we are suggesting is that I all hear this, uh, that our people uh, got to go on vocational track. Uh, that we hear me, uh, I don't have no problem with it. Uh, but let me just be an apostolic voice. Uh, we more than plumbers. Uh, we are more than electricians. Uh, oh, yes, we are. Uh, stop telling our black boys and go or girls to just go to vocational track. Uh, no, sir. Uh, we are mathematicians. Uh, we are scientists. Uh, we are politicians. Uh, we are theologians. We everything we want to be. Oh, I find two people and say, I'm about to reverse the curse. My man, my man, my man is smart. My man, my man, my man is saved. My man, my man is everything. My man, my man, my man, my... Go high five a woman and say, I got a man of God. need 20 women to jump up and down and say, Lord, I, I repent. I do have a smart man. His IQ is sky high because you made him. You put extra in him. He's everything I want him to be. Street, you better be a principal. Nick, you better be a CEO. Will, you better go and be a chief of police because men are smart.
hear me? Yeah, thank you over there. A dumb decision doesn't mean I am dumb. It means I had a dumb moment. Look at your neighbor say, we all have dumb moments. It's 1239. Be seated. Hold on. Watch this. Where, where, where did you get that from? Why, why, did you, why would you ever call them that? Men. Men. Who taught you that all women want, here's one, is your money? That ain't no black woman. Not in 2024. We got our own money. What did you? <laughs> As a matter of fact, y'all got more money than most of us. I'm the, I need a leader. I need a man of God. I ain't need no check. I need someone that can put me in check. Look at your neighbor. All the ladies, how far somebody say, good, good. We can be a mess, good. We can be a mess, good. What did you, men, what did you learn? Where did you learn your hate for the woman? Who did you learn it from? How did you learn that? Watch this. The kingdom of God reverses the curse of the barbershop and the salon. Watch this. Pay attention. Watch this, Roshini. Where did you learn? Watch this, men of God. It's going to bless you. Where did you learn about sex? Who did you learn it from? I Okay, watch this. Since y'all not gonna say nothing, if you if you, if you should shout, you got sometimes you gotta shout for the preacher, so 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 he won't, you know, he won't stay in the, he'll move on. But since you didn't shout, I gotta stay there. Where did you learn sex from? What I mean by that is this. Do you all know that? Watch this, men. Women are not sexually pleased. Sex for a woman don't start in bed. Y'all, y'all not talking to me, and the men ain't talking to. I can tell y'all. Sex for a woman doesn't start in bed. Let me, because we, all the, legacy is open, uh, Dr. Jew. They in the back. They can't hear us. Well, parents, just, just explain it. All right. Watch this. Most men learn sex from old Big tummy men. Or we learn sex. Watch this. Because I came up in the day, get this, where, hear this, magazines were still popular. Then 
pornography came on the VHS. Come on, talk to me in the room. Yeah, I don't need to be no preacher. I said, I said, then pornography came to the VHS. You had to put it in the VCR. Ain't R, it's R. It's R. Don't say R. Not in here today. It's R. Watch this. So we have this society that taught us how to please a woman sexually. And so this is why many women aren't pleased. Because we've been taught to just stick it in. No. Sex for a woman starts through text message. Good sex for a woman, Pastor Ty, starts with good morning, beautiful. Sex for a woman starts when you take an Uber and you give her lunch that afternoon. It's sex for a woman if you, it's when you have flowers delivered to her at her job. Don't go up there, you old creep. Just have them delivered. Sex for a woman is saying stuff like, throughout the day, I was just thinking about you. Sex for a woman is when she gets out of work. You start quoting, sweet roses are red, violets are blue. I was thinking about you all day long. Whatever you come up with. Uh, and she starts getting all hot and bothered in her affections. And so this is why uh, women hate uh, when you smash and dash. Uh, that No, uh, women are stimulated by covenant. Uh, they want somebody that's into them, not the body. Uh, oh yeah, uh, so sex is not a physical act for a woman uh, first uh, sex is mental uh, you gotta ask her how she's feeling uh, you gotta listen to her uh, so pay attention to what I'm saying to you uh, where did we learn these uh, these false uh, narratives about relationships and sex for a man is not emotional. You don't have to send us flowers. You don't have to ask us how our day was. We already know how it was and how it's gonna be tomorrow. You don't have to say nothing positive to us. It's physical. It's so physical that after our low oxytocin level has dropped, we go back to looking at you the original way. You're not mad enough. There's no food. There is no makeup. There is no fake butt that can make a man not cheat on you. Because sex for a man is like playing basketball. We'll play at lifetime. And if LA Fitness open, we'll play over there tomorrow. It takes time for a man to only want to play at one court. It, where were y'all at? Y'all just shot me down a few minutes ago.
Write this down in your head since you ain't writing in your, in your notes. Sex does not make us want to marry. Watch this. And I'm inclined to say, ain't no witchcraft going to make us want to marry you. So you can't put no pepper, salt, and nothing in our spaghetti and we go down the aisle. You just wasted salt. Here's one. I'm old. Getting pregnant doesn't make us want to marry you. We just about to be two parents. I said, we're almost, we're almost done, y'all. It's 12 50. It's time to go. Watch this. Let's, let's do the work. Let's rush work. R rush work. Satan, get this. Satan's agenda for every covenant is division. Hear me. Satan loves that we hate one another. Okay, watch this. Write this work down. Harmony. Romans 12 and 16, live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, snobbish, high-minded, exclusive, but readily adjust yourself to people, things, and give yourself to humble tasks. Never overestimate yourself. And that's the problem. This is why I went down the rabbit hole concerning you thinking that this is what keeps a woman and this is what does this for a man. You're doing what Paul is saying. You are overestimating yourself. This is why many, hear me, this is why many, hear this. I'm talking to the ladies in this one right here. This is why many of you are single because you have overestimated your beauty. It's like Elijah talking to God saying, hey, I'm the only one that's uh, not bowed to Baal. And God had to interrupt him. He said, I got 700 that's not bowed to Baal. You're not the only one that's smart. You're not the only one that can cook. You're not that I can look at that recipe on TikTok and do it myself. You're not the only one that's beautiful. Let me help. I just feel the Holy Spirit. Stop walking in the house of God like everybody looking at you. It's 4,000 women. You just another one. So come in here and worship Jesus and go home. We're not looking at you. It's too many people. Look at your neighbor and say, you ain't the only one that's fine. I'm fine. We fine. And don't nobody want your man. You want him. This is why the church doesn't need, necessarily need to be a fashion show. If it's going to be a fashion show, hear this. You come dressed up because that's how you feel about yourself. I'm okay with a church as a fashion show because people feel like that about themselves. But if you coming in here to get somebody else to look at you and you think you're the only five fashionable person in the house of God, you are overestimating yourself. Here's another one. Say, so here's another one. Just because next week somebody has what you had on this week don't mean they biting from you. That style all over internet. Oh, you saw you got her hair like mine. Everybody got that. Four locks, your locks. This week, we all see that. I just had to get that off my chest. Don't overestimate yourself.
So pastor, what should I do? I should date in humility. I should be married in humility. I don't know everything, man of God. When she's talking, hear this. You have to understand that, yeah, though you are masculine and though you are the leader of the house, God, hear this. When he wants to save that marriage, he is, he's God. He can save it through your wife and not you. Uh, no, let me slow down here. Watch this. Just because you're the man does not mean you are a mathematician. M in man does not mean math. So just because you bring home money does not mean you need to be paying the bills and deciding where the money goes. You are good at social studies. You are not good at math. So if she's good at math, if she says we need one account, then say, yes, ma'am, one account. And she will give you an allowance every week. Y'all, that's my money. But y'all going to be in a homeless shelter if you don't let her make them financial decisions. And when you say I'm the man, what you're saying is I'm the leader. And when you're saying I'm the leader, that means you know how to delegate. And when you know how to delegate, you know that you are not the smartest one. I know how to choose talent. And my baby talented. So you handle this and I'll handle that. You know how many men is in this room? They are broke. Or here's one. Trust her when she says, that lady like you. <laughs> Mr. Powell, tell him, uh, trust her when she says, that lady like you. Huh? Watch this, hear me. Huh? Sometimes men, now I'm going to tell you this lady, here's a little secret. We know that they like us. <laughs> We're not dumb, y'all. We know that they like us, and we like that they like us. And you ain't no different because you like when a young person come on to you too. Here's the point. If a woman says, stay away from that girl, then you need to treat it as God came and told you to your face. That if you go any further, you're going to mess up your map. Hear me. None of us are that spiritual where God got to come down and tell us. Uh, sometimes my husband is God's voice. Uh, sometimes my wife is God's voice. Uh, so if my wife say, leave that girl alone, don't talk to her, don't look at her. Then if I want to keep my marriage and my mind, then I'm going to obey God. Y'all are shutting down in here. Or shall or. If your wife says your friend is a scammer. All right. Watch this. But the way that we start seeing the harmony in relationship is because we have a lot of arrogant people marrying. So, Pastor, how should I marry? I need to understand that I am only a piece to the, hear this, I'm only a piece. Watch this, it's going to bless you, Dr. Jessica. I'm only a piece to the puzzle of my own destiny. Man. Just a piece. They missed that. That concerning your destiny, you're only a piece and everything, is, everything that's, that's in you is not enough. We, we've all said, I got everything I need in me. That's not true. If that were true, then God would not have made the person sitting next to you. So when you choose a mate, this is how we can stay together. This is how we can decline the divorce rate in the church. Because the, the divorce rate is almost, get this y'all, it's almost the same as uh, the divorce rate outside of the church. Uh, it's right under, and the reason that it's right under is because uh, spirituality or religion has been found to hold marriages together. So, so look at your neighbor and say, God does work. 
but he has to work in conjunction with to your humility. So watch this. Hear me. The way that I, this is how we can get marriages and relationships. Uh, and I'm not even talking about just romantic relationships. This is how we can have better friendships. Is that when I connect with you, you connect with me. We approach each other trying to figure out uh, what's in them that I am ignorant of. Okay, watch this, y'all. All right. All right, can y'all give me four minutes? Or do I need to save it for Wednesday? We, we can, we can go. Just give me four minutes, y'all, four minutes. How do I, watch this, y'all, how do I end the war between man and woman? Because there's a war. Men, you have, to, you have to look at yourself and say, you hate women. You, where did you get it from? Did you get it because of some type of tragedy or trauma in your life? Did you get it because of some type of philosophy, some type of, why do you hear this? Why do you feel, why, where did you get your, where did you get your, uh, uh, your, your mindset concerning a woman? Where, why do you look at her as property? Why is it that when a woman says no, you feel rejection? I've never understood why a man walks up to a woman and says, hey, you know, so forth, so forth, I think you're beautiful, so forth, and she says, no, I'm not interested. You, you walk away and call her a bee. Seven point eight or eight point, I'm sorry, eight point five billion people on the planet. If one person says no. All right, so watch this. How do I end the war, y'all? How do I end the war? Number one, I'm only going to give you three because we don't have time for all, y'all. I'm gonna get, Three, just three. Maybe just one. Maybe just one. Maybe just one. How do I end the war? Not, not five, not three, because I have ten. I can't give five because it's too late. I'll just give you three, but probably not three. I'll just give you one. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. How do I end the war? Romans 12 and 2. You, you already know that. It says what? Go put it up. Don't be conformed. What did it say? To the pattern, pause, of this world. Pattern means methods. Pattern means philosophies, doctrines, ide ideals, ideologies. Do not be, so watch this. How do I end the war between man and woman? I Hear me. You have, to forget, you have to remember, many of us, we get saved and we don't bring salvation to our entire lives. Meaning this, we get saved and salvation kind of stops when it comes to right, wrong. But we don't understand, pay attention, that salvation is supposed to totally flip or, here's the word, transform your thinking. So if you want to end the war concerning or against uh, the, the war concerning uh, male and female, the first thing you have to do is do not conform to the methodology of this world. Get this parenthetically to that concerning relationships. Do not conform to the pattern of this world concerning how I view a woman. Do not conform to the pattern of this world concerning how I view a man. Meaning this, there's no possible way I can read this text and in the same mind and mouth say that all men are dogs. Why? Because now that I know who I am in God and I know who God is to me, God has not, get this, I'm so beautiful and so valuable to God, he wouldn't send me a dog. So hear this, watch this. Even if I just got out of a relate, y'all ready? This is the part. This is the part that's gonna jack you up, Christians. Even if I just got out of a relationship with a man or a woman, a woman that used me for my money, a man that used me for my body. Even if I've had my own tragic experience, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Watch this. But be by the what? Watch this. Here's an extra one. This is why we fail every day concerning sin. Because there's nothing in the scripture that tells us to confront sin by stopping a behavior. 
That's why we have so many. Then if I say that, then we're going to have an altar call. But, but let me just say it. That's why we have so many altar calls. Because people want a euphoric experience. And you can go 20 years always at the altar. Watch this, Pastor Free, concerning the same thing. The altar, hear this, the altar, there's a, there's a necessity for the altar. But if you want to attack sin, stop stopping and act. All right, I'll put it to you like this. Let's be practical. All right, it's over time. Watch this. Let's be practical. Um, let's say you found out that your husband was cheating on you. Okay? Let's find, say you found out that your wife was cheating on you. Watch this. If they stop. You should not rest. Because you still didn't figure out. Where their mind was. And if I cheated on someone because I love them. And the only thing you're focused on is me not doing it anymore. Y'all ready? If I, stop li- if I stop lying or if I stop lusting or if I stop cheating or if I stop doing, watch this. And God says, yeah, you might as well keep stopping or keep doing that because you don't love me. You're behaving. That's not relationship to get people to behave. Okay, you didn't like that. Doc, watch this. Don't get this. Don't be excited that he comes home. Freak, this is going to mess you up. People, Dr. J, they're not going to get it. Don't be excited that he comes home. Well, get this. Figure out if he wants to come home. Because when men come home, but we stay an hour in the driveway, something else has our mind. Man. So watch this. I want you to come home in that driveway and say, ain't no loving in this driveway. Ain't no food. Ain't no cuddling. Uh, ain't no effect. I got to. I'm busting through the doors uh, because I love who's in this house. So watch this. Pastor, how does it have anything to do with Romans 12? Romans 12. Watch this. Because the mind, I don't address a sin based upon what's, get this, my behavior. I have to change my mindset about the sin. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Let's go back. Get this. Then you will be able to test and approve what, what? What God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So hear this. I, here's how I end the war between men and women. I have to get my grandmama's teaching about men out of my spirit. I got to get my daddy's teaching about women out of my spirit. Y'all didn't say nothing on that. Get this. If I'm spirit filled, that means I have the ability. This is going to mess you up, Jamie. Watch this. Uh, Well, you know, men don't Say, we love you. We, ain't, we don't express like that. It's time to go. I'm only going to do one now. Men don't express like that. Well, when, when, the, when the pneuma starts messing with your soul, You will become the most affectionate man the world has. Man, I feel like running in here. Hear this, hear this, hear this. I have to transform my mind or men don't communicate. When the pneuma is in you, you don't learn from your daddy. Now you learn from Abba. And so pneuma, get this, is a, a helper. It's 
present. It's get this. You don't take on. You don't take on and put on the Holy Ghost. So Mike and Ty, if they started playing right now and we start playing shouting music, that's not the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm. The Holy Spirit is always with you. So this is why. Get this. Nobody can stop you from speaking in tongues. If you at your job, even if my mouth ain't moving, I'm still speak. I'm praying in the Spirit. I feel like running. So that we're going to have church. We can't have church. So here's a point. When I have a regular communication with the Holy Ghost, that's the first where that's the first place I learn how to talk. That's the first time. That's the first place I learn how to be affectionate. Oh, yeah, because he starts to wrap me in his arm. I start to feel the warmth of God. I start to feel hear this. I start to feel the presence of God. So a man that's used to talking to God and accessing the presence of God and being in the presence of God, his nature starts to change. He starts to become a new creature in Christ and so the translation that I've been in the presence of God is that when I come out of his presence I can come to you and hug you and love you and listen to you and honor you I feel like running in this room oh yeah we need people that have a relationship with the pneuma of God if you want your mind to change if you want your life to change you don't targeting the act. You say, Lord, change my mind. It's time to go. It's time to go. All right. It's 110. Okay. Flip the phone. Okay. Uh, how do we end this? Hear this, y'all. Look at your neighbor say, read the Bible. Change philosophy for theology. What's the theology of the man? That's what you mean. Theology, theo, God, ology, study. What's, I need to study God concerning the opposite sex. Not philosophy. Not barbershop talk. I want to end the war. So, get this. Relationships that are going through. I appreciate your conversation, but the reason we just keep coming back to the same thing. Nothing is changing. So far, marriage is going through. Nothing is changing. Because we don't, we have not sought God to understand where my wife, where my husband coming from. So, so he didn't cre create us. Hear this. He didn't create to think like you, ladies. And men of God, he didn't create her to think. It ain't logical. Never marry Lico. You this. Season on you should know because of capacity. Pray to you. You know what? I'm down wrong. I love you.